The next evolution of Starship is here. Those words lit up SpaceX's social media on January 2nd, 2025, sending waves through the space community. While the world was still celebrating the new year, SpaceX's teams were already hard at work, installing the critical flight termination system on Booster 14 under the stars of the Texas night sky. This wasn't just another routine upgrade, it was the dawn of Starship 5-2, a complete reimagining of the most powerful rocket ever built. The changes? They're bold. A 25% increase in fuel capacity, next-generation heat shields, sharper aerodynamic surfaces. And for the first time ever, this beast will carry actual payload to space. But what makes Flight 7 truly special isn't just the hardware, it's what it represents. After six test flights pushing the boundaries of what's possible, SpaceX is about to attempt something unprecedented, a suborbital flight that will test real-world capabilities critical for future Moon and Mars missions. The stage is set at Starbase. Booster 14 stands ready. Ship 33 awaits its moment. And in the control rooms, SpaceX engineers are preparing for what could be their most ambitious test yet. From the historic first Falcon 9 launch of 2025 just days ago, to this upcoming milestone, we're witnessing history in the making, and you're here for every moment of it. Today on Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're breaking down every upgrade, every modification, and every goal of this groundbreaking mission. Let's dive right in. Look closely at Booster 14 as it stands against the Texas sky, and you'll notice something different. The changes might seem subtle at first, a modified grid fin here, an enhanced thrust vector control there, but they represent years of learning, countless hours of engineering, and six test flights worth of data all culminating in this moment. The story of Flight 7 begins not with the hardware, but with a vision. When SpaceX first unveiled Starship, skeptics called it impossible, too big, too ambitious, too different from anything that came before. But flight after flight, SpaceX has turned those impossibilities into reality. Now with Flight 7, they're about to push those boundaries even further. Let's break down what makes this launch truly revolutionary. At the heart of Starship the Fives, two lies a complete reimagining of what a spacecraft can be. The forward flaps, those crucial control surfaces that guide Starship through its descent, have been transformed. They're now smaller, sharper, and position closer to the vehicle's tip. This isn't just about aesthetics. By moving them away from the heat shield, SpaceX has created a more aerodynamic profile while enhancing their effectiveness during the critical re-entry phase. But the real game changer? It's what's inside. SpaceX has increased the fuel capacity by a staggering 25%. Think about that for a moment. That's not just a minor adjustment, it's a fundamental leap forward in what Starship can achieve. To support this massive increase, they've completely redesigned the fuel feed system. New vacuum jacketed lines will deliver that extra propellant to upgraded Raptor engines with unprecedented efficiency. The heat shield, always a critical component, has evolved into something extraordinary. The next generation tiles aren't just stronger, they're backed by a redundant layer that ensures protection even if individual tiles are damaged or lost during flight. This dual-layer approach represents a new philosophy in spacecraft design, not just preventing failure, but embracing resilience. Here's where things get really interesting. Flight 7 will carry actual payload for the first time, 10 Starlink satellite simulators. These aren't just dummy weights. They're carefully designed to match the exact specifications of next-generation Starlink satellites. During the suborbital flight, SpaceX will attempt their first ever payload deployment from Starship. This isn't just a test, it's a dress rehearsal for the future of satellite deployment. The avionics system has received a massive overhaul. We're talking about new flight computers that pack more processing power than ever before. The integration of Starlink, GNSS, and backup RF communications into a single antenna system isn't just clever engineering. It's a preview of how future spacecraft will stay connected. With over 30 high-definition cameras installed throughout the vehicle, we'll have unprecedented views of every critical moment. Speaking of views, Starship will be streaming more than 120 megabits per second of data through the Starlink network. That's enough bandwidth to transmit crystal-clear video and vital telemetry data simultaneously. 
This isn't just about giving us amazing footage. It's about demonstrating Starlink's crucial role in future deep space missions. But perhaps the most ambitious part of Flight 7 is what happens after the main mission. SpaceX will attempt to relight one of the Raptor engines in space, a crucial test for future orbital maneuvers. Then comes the most challenging part, a controlled vertical landing in the Indian Ocean. This landing attempt isn't just about recovering hardware, it's about proving that Starship can safely return from space, setting the stage for eventual catch attempts by the launch tower. The launch tower itself has been upgraded with new radar systems specifically designed to track Starship's descent with unprecedented precision. These improvements aren't just for Flight 7, they're laying the groundwork for Flight 8, where SpaceX hopes to attempt their first catch of a returning Starship. In a historic first, Flight 7 will also feature a reused Raptor engine, specifically Raptor 314 from the B-12 booster that flew on Flight 5. This might sound like a small detail, but it represents a crucial milestone in SpaceX's journey toward full reusability. Every reused component brings us one step closer to truly affordable space travel. The mission's complexity doesn't end there. SpaceX has developed new metallic tiles and an active cooling system that will be tested during re-entry. These aren't just incremental improvements, they're potentially revolutionary technologies that could transform how we think about spacecraft thermal protection. Some might wonder why SpaceX is taking such bold steps with Flight 7. Why not play it safe? The answer lies in the company's ultimate goal, establishing a sustainable human presence on Mars. Each upgrade, each test, each new capability brings us closer to that reality. The increased fuel capacity means longer burns for Mars insertion. The improved heat shield paves the way for Mars atmospheric entry. The payload deployment tests validate systems needed for building infrastructure on another planet. But this mission is about more than just Mars. It's about proving that space travel can be both reliable and cost-effective. The reused engine, the enhanced landing capabilities, the robust communication systems. These are the building blocks of a future where space travel is as routine as air travel is today. As we await Flight 7, the space industry watches with anticipation. This isn't just another test flight, it's a glimpse into the future of space exploration. SpaceX has already transformed how we think about rockets with the Falcon 9. Their latest launch on January 3rd marked their 341st successful landing and their 435th mission overall. Now with Starship 5-2, they're about to show us what the next generation of spaceflight looks like. The countdown has begun. At Starbase, engineers are making final preparations. The flight termination system is in place. The notice to airmen has been issued. Soon, Starship will once again rise above the Texas coast carrying with it not just payload and fuel, but the hopes and dreams of everyone who believes in a spacefaring future. This mission represents more than just technical achievements. It embodies the spirit of innovation that drives human exploration forward. Every modification, every upgrade, every new capability has been carefully designed and tested, building upon the lessons learned from previous flights. SpaceX isn't just building a rocket. They're creating a bridge to the stars. As we track Flight 7's progress, remember, this is more than just a test. It's a demonstration of what happens when we push the boundaries of what's possible with its enhanced capabilities, improved systems, and groundbreaking new features. Starship 52 isn't just an upgrade. It's a revolution in spacecraft design. The future of space exploration stands ready on the launch pad, and we're all about to witness history in the making. As Flight 7 approaches, we're standing at the threshold of a new era in spaceflight. The upgrades we've explored today, from the enhanced fuel capacity to the revolutionary heat shield system, aren't just technical improvements. They're stepping stones toward making life multiplanetary. SpaceX began 2025 with that remarkable Falcon 9 launch, marking their 341st successful landing. Now with Starship 5, too ready to push new boundaries, we're about to witness another historic moment in space exploration. Each test, each improvement, each successful mission brings us closer to regular trips to Mars and beyond. If you're as excited about this groundbreaking mission as we are, drop a 
ready for V2 in the comments below. Your thoughts and insights make our community stronger, and I read every comment. Make sure you're subscribed to Elon Musk 24 hours and hit that notification bell. We'll be covering Flight 7 developments as they happen, bringing you the latest updates and expert analysis you won't find anywhere else. This is more than just a test flight, it's humanity's next giant leap toward the stars. And together, we're watching history unfold. Until next time, keep reaching for the stars. Breaking news from Starbase. SpaceX just revealed their launch date for Starship Flight 7, and it's coming even sooner than expected. Mark your calendars for January 10th, space fans, because history's about to be made again. But that's not all that's heating up in the world of space exploration. While we were celebrating the holidays, SpaceX was busy pushing the boundaries of rocket science. Booster 15 has completed its first critical tests, representing the next evolution in Starship technology. With its upgraded header tank and numerous improvements, this booster could be the one to help achieve something unprecedented the first successful ship catch after orbital flight. Meanwhile, in the depths of our solar system, NASA's Parker Solar Probe has just shattered another cosmic speed record, blazing through space at an astounding 430,000 miles per hour. That's 119 times faster than a bullet. As it ventures closer to our star than any human-made object in history, it's revolutionizing our understanding of the sun. And for those following the competition in the commercial space race, Blue Origin's new Glenn has finally completed its full-duration static fire test, marking a crucial milestone in the development of what could become the third-largest operational rocket. Welcome to Space Frontier, your front-row seat to the future of space exploration. Let's dive right in. Let's start with the incredible developments at Starbase, where SpaceX's relentless pursuit of progress has continued even through the holiday season. While most of us were unwrapping presents, the dedicated teams at Starbase were unwrapping something far more extraordinary, a fully tested piece of Starship flight hardware that could change the course of space exploration forever. The star of our holiday story is Booster 15, a marvel of engineering that just completed its first critical test. On December 27th, as the winter chill settled over Starbase, we watched in awe as sheets of ice formed along the booster's massive frame. This wasn't just frost, it was the visual signature of success as liquid nitrogen coursed through the vehicle's veins, testing every weld, every connection, every component to its limits. The sight of that ice creeping up the booster's sides told us something remarkable. SpaceX's latest creation was ready for the challenges ahead. But here's what makes this achievement truly extraordinary. Booster 15 isn't just another iteration. It's a leap forward in rocket technology, featuring an upgraded header tank and countless improvements that the naked eye can't see. These aren't just minor tweaks. They're the culmination of lessons learned from every previous flight, every test, every failure, and every success. The pace of progress here is simply staggering. Consider this. SpaceX managed to build and prepare this massive booster for testing in under three months. To put that into perspective, while traditional aerospace programs might take years to achieve similar milestones, SpaceX is revolutionizing the industry's timeline. They're not just building rockets, they're rewriting the rules of what's possible in aerospace manufacturing. Speaking of manufacturing progress, let's talk about Booster 16, a testament to SpaceX's commitment to continuous improvement. This behemoth was stacked in just 71 days, from first segment to completion. The methane tank joined its oxygen tank companion with surgical precision, marking yet another breakthrough in production efficiency. Compare that to the 110 days it took for Booster 14, and you'll see a clear pattern of acceleration in SpaceX's capabilities. But speed isn't everything. It's the attention to detail that truly sets these achievements apart. Take Ship 35, for instance. While it may be taking longer to complete than its booster counterparts, there's a fascinating reason why. These ships are intricate machines requiring careful installation of flaps, heat shields, and now something completely new that could revolutionize how we recover spacecraft from orbit. 
During our latest observations of Ship 35's nose cone in Mega Bay 2, we spotted something unprecedented, a potential game changer in spacecraft recovery technology. Hidden in plain sight were mysterious rectangular cutouts, strategically placed and carefully designed. These could be the future home of retractable catch points, similar to an aircraft's landing gear. Think about it, a system that stays safely tucked away during the intense heat of re-entry, only to deploy